The New York Jets travel to Buffalo to face their division rival Bills on Sunday. Jets are installed as a one-point favorite on BetDAC. 41 is the total in this game. Jets won the first time these two teams played, which was back in Week 3, 27-20, the final score of that game. Jets really got after Bills rookie quarterback E.J. Manuel. They sacked him eight times. And in this game, Manuel will be without his two starting wide receivers, Stevie Johnson and Robert Woods, who are both injured. So I'm not sure how the Buffalo passing game is going to get anything going. Now, problem is, if you're going to attack this New York defense, you need to attack them in the secondary. The Jets have not been particularly good against the pass this year, but they lead the NFL in rushing defense. So I do think the Bills are going to try to go right into the teeth of this Jets defense because even though the Jets are very good against the run, with Buffalo's current wide receiver situation, again, down Stevie Johnson and Robert Woods, and starting a rookie in E.J. Manuel, Manuel's already had a bad experience against this Jets defense. I think Buffalo is going to be very conservative on offense. I think they're going to run C.J. Spiller and Fred Jackson, even if they're not having much success early in the game. That's why I think if you like the Bills here, if you lean towards the Bills, you might also lean towards under 41 because I feel very strongly that if Buffalo is going to win this game, they're going to need to shut down the New York offense. They might be able to do that. The Bills have played better defensively since they got their two best players in the secondary, cornerback Stephon Gilmore and safety Jarius Bird back from injury. And New York certainly does not have a very good offense, 28th in the NFL in points scored. They average only 18.8 points per game. Now the Jets are coming off a bye. They did play well in their last game, a victory over the New Orleans Saints. They seem to have found a running back they can ride in Chris Ivory. So uh, I expect to see a lot of running the football in this game on both sides. I think the Jets are going to give Ivory 18 to 20 carries. I think Buffalo is going to give the combination of Spiller and Jackson at least 30 carries. So again, I do have a lean towards the under here, especially if you have a Buffalo lean. And to be honest with you, Coming into this game, I, I want to like Buffalo. It feels like to me the Bills sort of should win. They're excellent at home, 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six home games. The Jets, meanwhile, 1-3 and three in their four road games this season. However, I just can't get past the fact that Buffalo will be without their two starting wideouts. E.J. Manuel is a rookie and really struggled the first time against New York. Jets defense again getting after him and sacking him eight times. Just don't know how Buffalo is going to move the ball and score points in this game. So that has taken me off of the Bills here. And as of now, as we record this video on Friday, I do lean towards New York minus one. Even though, again, it, certainly not a strong lean throughout the first half of this week when we still thought Stevie Johnson might play. I did have a Buffalo lean in this game. But as it currently stands, with the current state of the Bills offense, be hard for me not to turn away from the Jets here. I think my, bet, my favorite bet, though, in this game is under 41.